Hi guys, welcome to the Lanamass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at some sector area of a circle questions. So if we take a quick overview, a sector is a section of a circle usually found within a specified arc of a circle. So similarly to arc length, what we have is a section of a circle which has been either removed or we are interested in and instead of working out the arc length which was to do with the circumference this time we want to know what the area is so we want to know the area value of the shaded area now the sector area is the area of a given sector the size of the area is determined by the size of the sector angle so again it's the same thing Similarly, in respect to the arc length, in that the angle determined the size of the arc length. So again, the angle within the sector will determine how big the sector area is. Now, they are usually in the form of problem-solving questions, um, usually a, a story, um, which we'll, we'll see a, a big problem-solving question later on. And they tend to work alongside arcs of circles. Um, as I'm sure you're familiar, the topic is usually called arcs and sectors, but I will insert the link in the description on a video for arcs of circles, and you can use that in conjunction with this to solve any of the, the problems that you might face. Now the formula is pretty similar to the arc length apart from instead of it being diameter we have the radius squared now the reason it's squared is because your area is like centimeter squared meter squared so the radius is in say centimeters then we have to square that in order to get an area unit value so that is the only difference compared to the sector area and the arc length and theta again is the arc and sector angle so if we take a look at question one it says calculate the area of the sector removed from the circle given the radius of the circle is 40 centimeters and the angle AOB is 110 now if we can remember from the arc length we can work out which one is the major and the minor because if the minor is less than 180 degrees the angle then we have the minor arc or sector if it is over 180 then it means we're dealing with the major so in this case because the angle is 110 and it's referring to this proportion here we're going to work out the minor sector area so when you approach these questions, what you should always do is write down your equation and then write down the information that you are given. So in this case, we know what theta is, which is 110, and we know what r is. So we have all the information in order to solve this question. So all we have to do is just substitute the values into this equation and we get 110 over 360 pi 40 squared. If you pop that into the calculator, you will get a value of 1,536 centimetres squared. And it's very important for the units. Now question two is a previous past paper question and one that caused a fair few complications. In that this combines the sector area with a area of a triangle as well which I'll also include a video on how to solve those kind of problems in the description below. But if we take a look at this, it says, find the area of the cross section, which is a tunnel. Now, again, we'll specify what information we've been given. So the center is O, MN is a chord of the circle, which means it is the radius between here and here. The angle MON is 50 degrees and the radius, again, as we say, is 7 metres. Now, if we break 
the tunnel down into two sections because we have the arc which is from M all the way around to N and then we have the triangle which is fairly easy to spot as this bit in here. Now we'll take a look at the sector first so again we'll write down the equation that we're going to use and then we write down the information that we're given. However the angle this time is going to be the major sector because this bit here is the minor so our theta must be 360 degrees minus 50 degrees because that is the size of the sector because it's from here all the way around to here. So we have to do 360 minus 50 which gives you 310 degrees. Now that's our theta and we're told that the radius was 7. So we just pop the numbers in, pop it into the calculator and we get a value of 132.5 meters squared. Now that is for the area of the sector. We now have to deal with the area of the triangle. Now the area of the triangle isn't always a half times length times breadth because in this scenario it is dependent on the size of the angle. So we have to use this formula here which is a half AB times sine C. Now you've got to be careful in terms of the uppercase and lowercase letters. And again I'll go into more detail um, in the other video but so long as we remember that the small letters represent the length and the capital letters represent the angle. So we know that A and B are going to be 7 and that capital C is the angle which is going to be 50. So if we pop them in then we end up with a value of 18.76 meters squared. So the final step in this question is it wants the total area. So our sector area and our area of the triangle, if we get the total, we simply just add the two of them together and we get a total area of 151 metres squared. So a fairly substantial problem solving question, um, one that combines two topics. Um, I think this was worth about five marks in the exam. So it's one to note how to really know how to do. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know any comments in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next video.